Hey guys, how you doing? This is Lynn. I am joining you for another segment of Wigless Wednesdays. I don't have a wig on, still not yet. I will have one soon. Stay tuned, I'll be right back. Hey guys, I am back. This is Lynn. No wig, still with the sewing, rocking with it, you know, rocking and rolling. I don't know how many weeks I've had it in now, but uh, I'm gonna try to keep it in as long as until the wheels, but right until the wheels fall off. You know what I'm saying? Um, guys, I have basically just been doing me, being a mama, entrepreneur, um, an employee, <laughs> uh, just trying to do my thing. So I will continue to, like I said, come bring you a little bit of myself every week, my personal journey, and hopefully it will help one of you guys out there on your personal journey to be me. Well, not me, but you know, you. So what the heck am I talking about this week? I want to know something, people. Are you okay? Are you okay? I mean, really, are you okay? Because I kind of want to talk about, are you okay and what forgiveness really means? Because people have different opinions about what it means to forgive. But this week I want to talk about, are you okay? So when I ask, are you okay? What I really mean is, have you forgiven, forgiven? Or are you still at the angry stage? Are you still have, you still harbor anger and resentment towards people that may have done you wrong? Okay. And when I say, are you okay? I guess what I mean is, are you good? Have you got to the okay stage? Have you gotten to the indifferent stage yet? That's what I mean. See, I don't believe in forgive and forget. It should really be forgive and and remember. Remember what I'm not going to do the next time. Remember who I'm not going to fuck with the next time. So it should be forgive and remember because I believe I need to remember so that I know not to make that same mistake with that person again. Correct? So when I ask you, are you okay? What I really mean is, are you okay? Have you gotten to the stage where you're just like, hmm, okay. Let me give you an example. So you guys know I, I watch my Netflix. I have my Netflix subscription. Okay, I believe in watching my little binge, watching my little shows. Okay, because I don't really have much time for much else besides an occasional show every now and then. And so if you guys are familiar with Netflix, you may be familiar with a show called You. Okay. Um, I actually started watching the show from the buzz that was online about the second season. I didn't even really know anything about it the first season until the second season was about to come out. So there was this buzz that was generated. And I was like, well, let me check it out, right? So I went to Netflix and I started watching it. And there's this main character, Joe, who obsesses over this woman, okay? And to not reveal too much about the series, because I want you to go to Netflix and watch it yourself. Um, there's a point in the series where Joe, who is a killer, okay? Because I have no other way to describe him. He just kills people because he loves this woman. So he removes all the obstacles by <laughs> killing them, okay? And there's a point, I can't remember if it's in the first season or the second season, but there's a point where Joe, I think it's the second season, where Joe gets to this point where he's like, you know, he decides to become okay with certain things. And he actually, it's the second season because he interacts with his girlfriend's friends and he has some kind of therapy. And so he becomes okay, okay? So one thing he kept saying was, and I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with that. And although Joe was this was this cold-blooded killer, even he got to a point where he had to be okay with certain things so that he can live a better life. And I guess why that stood out to me is because you can forgive someone but not be okay. You can forgive someone but still harbor that resentment, that anger, that hurt, you know, that originated from you know, why you were hurt, okay? You can still harbor it. And basically, is that really forgiveness? I don't think it is. I don't think you can truly say that you've forgiven someone until you get to, and I'm okay with that. Hey, this man did me wrong. He cheated on me. He fathered a child outside of our relationship. <laughs> and I'm okay with that, okay? When you get to, I'm okay with that, I feel like that's where you truly, truly can demonstrate that you've healed and show that you've healed, correct? And there's a song that I love by Whitney Houston, uh, God Rest Her Soul, the beautiful, talented Whitney Houston. One of her songs is, uh, I don't know if this is the title, if it's not, forgive me, okay? 
But the song is not right, but it's okay. It's not right, but it's okay. And that's that's the chorus. It's not right, but it's okay. And I think we have to get to a point where we stop expecting people to feel bad about what they did. Okay? Or in order for us to heal, we have to get some type of clearance from them. Okay? Because at the end of the day, we don't need anyone's permission to heal. Correct? And when she says in the song, it's not what this person did to her or whatever she's thinking about it's not right but it's okay and if you can get to the point in your healing where you can just say that shit was wrong okay hey but it is what it is it's okay because we can't change people we can't change what they did to us we can change how we react to it we can change how we deal with it we can become okay we can heal we can move on we can forgive but know that deep down within us we are okay are you okay? Are you pretending to be okay? Because if you're pretending, stop pretending and do what you need to do to heal. Whatever that may be. Therapy, you know, punching somebody's lights out, laughing some time. Hey, I'm not encouraging violence, y'all. Hey, I'm not encouraging violence, okay? Maybe you could just imagine you did those things. I don't know, okay? Sometimes it helps, okay? I don't, hey, I think about doing bad things too. I mean, I'm actually doing like Joe. Joe just went around killing everybody. Okay? You don't have to do that. You can heal in other ways. You can pick up a hobby. You can go and learn how to crochet or bowl or paint or something like that. Okay? Whatever you need to do to heal, to forgive, to forget, not forget, but to remember. Okay? Whatever you need to do to heal, to forget. Okay? I keep saying forget. Whatever you need to do to heal or whatever you need to do in order to heal, to forgive, but still remember, do that. Knitting, there's archery, you can basket weave, whatever you need to do. Just heal, okay? Forgive, remember, but be okay. Get to the okay. When you can get to the okay, you can truly, truly, truly say you've forgiven and you're healed and you're ready to move past your experiences. Guys, that's all I have for you today. Like I said before, I'm not an expert. I'm just me here running my damn mouth every week. Hopefully it benefits somebody in some way, shape, form, or fashion. I hope so. I hope you keep coming and listening to me and joining me every week as I give you a little bit of myself. And hopefully it'll help you heal a little bit of yourself as I go through my transformation. So guys, um, if you could subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, I would appreciate that. Um, If you could leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe, like I said, click the notification bell next door and subscribe so you can get notifications when I post a new video every week. Like I like to always say, guys, be better today than you were yesterday. Be better tomorrow than you were today. I will talk to you guys and see you so soon in just a few short days for another episode of Wiggles Will Save. Bye-bye.